How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and it is a beautiful day out here in New Denver slash Silverton, BC today. And it's gonna be the last really nice day for a while. Tomorrow will be okay, but then after that, the temperatures are dropping pretty much everywhere in the areas where I sort of am around. I gotta go back to Alberta in about three days, and it's gonna be below zero again. Those will be the highs. Here it's, uh, yeah, today's gonna get up to a nice temperature. So I'm gonna switch gears up here a little bit and I'm hoping to break some ground on getting Lucky painted. Um, there's a lot of little spots that still need to get done on her, but the one glaring one is the driver's side, the one with all of her uh, <clears throat> dimples. I would like to get that done today. So I'm ripping into Silverton, going to Silverton uh, Building Supplies, because the one thing I forgot to get when I was at Home Hardware yesterday and when I was in Calgary the day before, uh, it was some nice, really coarse sandpaper. I got 600 grit, which is great for finishing up paint on wood, but it ain't gonna do jack squat on uh, the outside of Lucky to rough her up and whatnot. That has been my problem for a couple of the areas on her that have become problematic. I didn't scuff her up enough and the paint is starting to peel off. That sounds like a future Matthew problem. Right now, we're gonna focus on getting her remaining large side all painted up. Here we are. I wanted to bring her out for a drive today because it's again so beautiful and she hasn't been out, well, in a while. It's fun to be driving her around and barely anything in here. <laughs> so lots to do for sure. Gotta start building the cabinetry that's gonna go right behind me. That's gonna take a little bit of planning because it's gotta be built around the diesel heater with a whole bunch of other little things in mind. And it also has to support the refrigerator that I wanna put back there. And of course, let's not forget about Penny's poop apartment. But put a pin in that. Let's get some sandpaper. <sighs> How refreshing.
Spent a little time browsing in there, getting ideas and whatnot. Also got myself some painter's tape because I know I have some somewhere, but I've been moving stuff around in Lucky and all over everywhere that not 100% sure where it is. And I'm going to need more anyway. I saw these in there. I've never seen them before. Crocodile all-purpose wipes cloths. I'm thinking it'll be great to uh, clean up the floor because I swept it out. Uh, the last time when I was demolishing the final bit of furniture in here, but didn't really get down and, and get the nitty gritty out. And those look, uh, those look heavy duty. So, and we got our 60 grit sandpaper. So now we are good to go. <sighs> so I guess we should probably uh, uh, get lucky back to the homestead and start taking stuff off because I also need the roof racks and the dually and all that stuff off for the solar panels. Oh, I need more brackets for the solar panels. That's a future Matthew problem, because I don't actually know the, the size that I need. So, here we go. Actually, you know what? I'm just coming back into New Denver here. I'm gonna make a couple stops. One, I'm looking up at my Mr. Lube sticker here <laughs> from the last time I took Lucky there. And it says that uh, it's supposed to be done on March 21st, which is coming up here soon which is probably weird for some of you, depending on when this video goes live. But I've never had an oil change done based on the date, always done on the mileage. So I'm gonna pull into the gas station here, see what the oil looks like in Lucky, just for peace of mind. And then I'm gonna go over to the Kootenai Savings Bank here in town, because I got some American money that I should turn into Canada dollars. Um, I don't know if they'll be able to do it for me, because I don't have an account there. I keep meaning to go to my bank when I'm in Calgary and Maybe my memory is starting to go. Anyway, pulling into the Canco here, real quickly. Check your oil. Turn the engine off when you do that. Ooh, it's almost tight. Lucky. Oh, hello, darling. It's been a hot minute. Okay. Ooh, how's our coolant? That's fine. All right. It doesn't look too dirty. Ow, that stick is hot. That is not oil that is cause for concern. Nice and clean. I'm not gonna worry about it. Maybe we'll do one on our, ourselves once this whole rebuild is all done. Peace of mind. Achieved. Oh, to the bank. Well, hello, beep beep, jeep jeep. Let me get out of your way, sir. Oof. We're gonna go this way to the bank because we're in Lucky, not Grace. A lot more difficult to make a sharp turn. up here. I've actually mentioned it a couple times on the vlog. This used to be the laundromat in New Denver. Hashtag sad day. Hello. All right, to Kootenai Savings. Hey, 
great success with a $5 fee because I don't have an account. I'll have to ask my mom if that fee would exist regardless, but I'm thinking it's because I didn't have an account. Two pieces of ID, no muss, no fuss, very lovely in there. Okay, now let's get the good ship Lucky back and hopefully do something about this big white wall. Oh, I even got Lucky. Uh, it, was, uh, it was like $47 uh, Canadian, so they gave me a toonie. If you don't know what that is, it's $2 in coin form. And this is what the car wash over at the AFD takes, but it only takes toonies that don't have the little notch in them. And we got Lucky. This one doesn't have a notch. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about that because it's the whole thing. But my plan is I'm probably going to have to go sand Lucky. Then we'll bring her back and give her a bit of a spray just on that side. She is dirty, but the sandpaper is going to get rid of a lot of that dirt. But then she'll be covered in paint dust. So we'll rip her back and give her a quick rinse before we actually start applying the paint. <sighs> so much to do. So little time. Come here. Ah, oh, that is a, that is a blank canvas. Well, it's not that blank, it's dirty AF, especially back here, obviously. But now I'm thinking about it, we might not have to go to the car wash. We just use those giant crocodile wipes we just got and just brush it off, who cares? But yeah, it'll be nice to get rid of little nicks and scratches like that. I don't even know where that came from. Yeah, we're just peeling up here, so I'll we'll have to blast that. I thought just the sandpaper or maybe even a wire wheel on the drill. But first things first, we gotta get the solar panels off. And also probably this, yikes. But it'll just make it so much easier other than what I did on the other side, which was cover these with paper and paint around them. Which then when I get that off on the other side, we will notice the <laughs> yuck spots. It's, it's daunting for sure to have to take all of this off, but I need to repair the solar panel brackets anyway. I'll show you that once I get them down. Uh, and this way we can do a little bit more of a thorough job with everything before we put the rhino racks back up there. So I guess I should just get the, get them off. Do I even have the key for those rhino rack things? I usually keep, I thought I kept one like right here. And, oh, I do, perfect. All right, well, every journey begins with a single step. Hiya. Oh, this is gonna suck. Uh-oh. Are they stripping it? Oh, that one's fine. Why are you being so stubborn? Get the liquid wrench. Right. And my phone is a little on the dying side. Ooh, Apple. Perfect. So I'm gonna plug that into the uh, vitamin that's in the back of Grace here and charge it up a bit while I see if I can get those off. I just tried two of those bolts and they are both just not going. I'm gonna try and find another wrench to get those off. I don't wanna damage those rhino racks. Um, that would suck. Get off of my apple, you sticker, you. Just go in the books. Use your flannel to clean the apple. There we go. Delicious. So, let's go. Put this plugged in. Turn on the vitamin. Plug in the phone. Okay. You're charging. You can just hang out here. Well, I see how much stuff I can get off of Lucky. <sighs> okay. The phone's got a little bit more of a charge now, which is good. And I am going to spend that fancy toonie. And we are going to take Lucky in. And spare down with the wand at the, at the car wash because she's looking a little extra schmutzy. I don't feel like bending and wiping. I feel like that would be ill-advised. So, yeah. Um, also, those are not coming off. I'm assuming it's going to be the same with these ones over here. For some reason, these lower bolts here and there are not coming out. And it's, they're, they're just being stripped by the little tool. You need a very specific tool that has an indent that allows that little nip to go inside. I and mean, you can crank them off. These top ones come off no problem, but it's not enough tension release to actually release the entire crossbar. So if I wanted them to come off, I would have to grind out those screws and I don't feel like trying to find replacement screws. 
for the Rhino rack right now. So I guess they're just staying up there, which is gonna make fixing the solar panels a little bit more obnoxious. Um, obviously it's a future Matthew problem at this point, but let me just see. Uh, we come up here, grab this. Yeah, it's just that one right there that needs to be replaced, really, that one bracket. Every other bracket's still intact. I was gonna just replace all of them, but again, it's gonna have to be ground off because this bolt or this and this nut right there, that one has to be grinded off because it's just spinning, spinning, spinning inside the actual rack itself. <clears throat> so that's unfortunate. I wanted to do like a completely clean canvas up there and get everything off the roof, but I am so not grinding these off. So everything's gonna stay. We gotta paint around it and we're not gonna let it bring us down. But for now, let's go spend a toonie and clean off. Lucky, I already sanded all of this. So it's quality content, quality content, which is why I didn't film it. It's also really warm out. <laughs> this car wash this it may not have the best pressure and whatnot to get the vehicle clean if she's real dirty but for that two bucks if you put in you get a long time i was able to go all the way around lucky which i didn't think i'd be able to do so it's got that going for it and i'm still gonna have to wipe this a little bit i think but let's let her dry and slap her with some paint she's looking a little damaged oh yeah i guess we should probably take this out plug and your gasket come here you bugger we'll have to blast that a little bit too and strip all that gunk off at least this way i won't have to mask around this come here, come here. Come there. now lucky's got no power whatsoever don't cut your fingers on the hole you made years ago clean it up See how these crocodile wipes are. How big are they? Ooh, yeah, it's a good size. It's a little wipey wipe. Nice. Ah, hole. Okay, so we're gonna let this sit in the sun and dry. I mean, it's already almost there. The sun is just beating right down on us. Then. Little attempt. God, this is so this is so imperfect. My whole be okay with things that aren't perfect really gets tested with, with painting. I'm gonna have to mask everything up and um yeah, I'm not even gonna bother removing this. This is from my old flooded batteries. This vent, I'm just gonna run a paint right over it. Who gives a tiny rat's anus? But I'm gonna let that sit for 15-20 minutes while that's happening. We'll do a little cleaning with a big fat pussy. You come outside and enjoy the weather. Look, you've got a new catio. Look at this, huh? Ooh, that's for you. Maybe you should get your bed too. Darling, darling, <laughs> a little different, eh? There you go, Penny. Get the stink blown off ya.
What do you say, Penny? You want to give these a try again? You know, that it's not uh, blowing your mind that the house is all different? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Salmon cranberry will do us just fine on it. Yum, yum, yum. Here. This one? Yeah, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. All right, well, you should probably spin like you're around. So we're not painting with the sun at our back. takes and how obnoxious it is. I oh, have a mind to just leave her like that. All right. Okay. Energize and then paint. What do you say, Penny? Kitty of few words. Today. Okay, time to go back into the Thule. <laughs> Let's not forget to close it and see if I have that spray gun up there that was sent to me oh so long ago. I was actually sent two of them, so hopefully we can find one. Oh, oh this one's always, there we go. Oh, good, it cracked here too, lovely. Actually, let's see. Uh, it's not the worst. It's not the best either. Open up, Tuli. Let's go. Oh, oh, the hinge broke. Look at it. It's flopping around. Or I guess it. Which way is it supposed to go? Like this. Oh gosh. <laughs> Stay focused. Where is the applicator? There it is. Come here. Ha ha. Now we just need some paint. I think I know where we can find some. It also took two hands and I got that in. So now we have a working hinge again. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh boy. Penny. Hi. Would you look at that? That'll do. three cans to get to that point where I would say it's all covered so that's one coat we've got seven cans left well seven and a half so we should be okay three three coats in a bit it's looking a little spotchy spotchy splotchy it's looking a little whoa but it'll get there So, second coat is drying. Uh, I'm just gonna poke around in here on my nose clean floor and see about some space in terms of 
the next piece of furniture. Well, not furniture, but like cabinetry that's got to get built here. So my fridge is going to stick out 18 inches, just right there. And it is 28 inches long. This is, this is like what I was doing on the floor of my old apartment when I was first designing Lucky for a while. Well, I didn't even, wasn't Lucky then. Yikes. That is such a big space. Well, it's not as big as I thought. Right there. Oh, but actually, well, no, it'll be worse because the wall sort of curves in as you go up it. I'm gonna build a platform here that's above, that's the fuel door for the gas tank. We'll have to be above that. Holy V. Which leaves us with this, kind of, for cupboard space or counter space. Hmm. That's vastly different than what I had before. Also, continuing on this sort of like just planning in my head stuff while it dries, not my head, the paint. Open up our electrical box here. I was thinking about this uh, earlier this week when I was in Calgary. I'm thinking about moving the Noco Shore Charger. Actually, that should come out. You know what, while I'm in here, can I just, where's the thing? So I need to charge that battery that Bill sent. I'm just gonna pull this guy right out of here, hopefully. Oh gosh, he's, might be in zip ties. That might be fun. Oh, nope, just kidding. Come on, you. Pull, pull. Oh, plug is stuck. Where is it? Where are ya? Whoa, bastard. Come here. There we are. There's one. The eyelets are flip flopping around here. Come on. Who built this box? Okay. <laughs> so, what I'm thinking, yeah. So I'm actually gonna move that from that location, move the DC to DC charger. I'm still hoping to swap that out with the other thing I talked about in a previous video. And I'm going to remove this little brace I put down here for the battery. And we're gonna slide the battery to that side. I'll probably even remove this MDF board. Uh, slide the battery over there, rebrace it, because that, that, that other battery is gonna go here. And then what I'm thinking is drilling a hole over here for the diesel heater ducting and putting a T-joint right here. So the diesel heater sits here, then I'm gonna have the ducting rung this way, and then it's gonna be a T-joint, so it goes straight on to the battery, and then also shoots out this way, and then when the cabinets are here, there'll be another vent right there. That's where my brain is at right now. I don't know if I'm gonna get that DC to DC charger dismounted today though, although it is, oh no, it's not free. Hmm, it needs to be free, I gotta cut those wires. Wait, do I? So many things, but anyways. Just helps me to uh, think out loud. What was I doing? All right, we'll get to that in a second. How you doing over here, Penny? Yeah, need to go inside for a biffy break or anything? Being very well behaved, just been enjoying the sun. Yeah. Wanna go inside? Maybe we should give you a break. Uh, hello. Yeah. hello. This way, darling. Yeah, come here, big putty tat. Big putty tat. Mm. All right, Penny's back downstairs. Let's make a spot on our very sturdy table <laughs> for this battery. All right. Oh yes, all the paperwork it comes with. Manuals for days. Our post bolts right in the top. They've got a very friendly gentleman and an arrow to remind you these were in here. Thank you. Look at this guy. Okay. Does he have a hand strappy? Oh, he does. Uh-oh. Is this too big for the space that I allotted? Um. I kind of want to find out before, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm going to charge it and use it regardless, but out of curiosity, let's see. There. There. Up here. Man, there's a bunch of cables in the way. Oh no, it'll fit for sure. No problem. Okay. Let's get you on the charger. Take out our protections. <laughs> and we got a positive. And we got a negative. Give those a little tighten. Power. There we go. 
Perfect, set to lithium. Shouldn't take much too long and it'll start reading it. There it goes, we'll figure it out. Perfect. Charge up, you battery, you. Okay, so I just got another car. Moving right along, I just got another code on there. And uh, at the back of Lucky here, I was just gonna see if I can fit Penny's uh, catio into one of these drawers. Well, obviously that one, not this one, my goodness. And then I'm like, I forgot that I have these little cubbies now, right? I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. Whatever I bloody want to, that's what. But for now, I can't uh, I can't get to it with a vacuum, right? You could get with a shop vac if you have with a hose and whatnot, but it's a little schmutzy back there, so. We'll keep the theme of the episode going. Episode? Vlog? Video? I don't know. Grab us a crocodile wiper. Gee, burrs two? No, I say nay. Get it in here. And yeah, that's not so bad. Clean her right out. Get it nice and spiffy. Oh my goodness, that is construction adhesive. That's not coming off. That's okay. I might replace this entire strip here because it's loose over here. It's split apart from itself. So... It would probably behoove me to replace that. Behoove? <sighs> I don't know. Get into those nooks and crannies. No excuse to not have a nice, clean rear. I could fashion Lucky some sort of bidet. Okay, pull this out. That kind of looks like it'll fit in there. Yeah, it's a little tight, but I don't know if I see myself keeping it in there because it's down in the... Well, I guess if I put other stuff underneath it and then this goes on top, just so it's... I imagine this would be what I want to access the most. So, oh, it if cut down on some space here. So I already got some rum back here. That's perfect. I'll just put the rum over here. Well, I mean, that's ill-advised. It's going to flop around. Get some foam. <laughs> but like first aid kit could go here. Our crocodile wipes in theory could go here. Get in there. I don't need all of you. Why do you all get so excited and come to the party? Good. Oh yeah, it's gotta stay flat, right? Like this. Ooh. Come on. Stupid first aid handle. Okay. Uh don't really have anything else to shove in here right now. So, but anyway, there you go, right? Hey, storing stuff. <laughs> yep. Don't leave your dirty rags in the back. Not a lot to do when the van is drying and out there and I keep going around at the side door and whatnot. So I'm just kind of looking over everything here in the garage and seeing what I have to do. I could tidy up, that's for sure. But in the interest of continuing to see what my drawers are capable of, Winter boots, <laughs> because this is the kind of stuff that I like was leaving in my storage unit or in my cousin's garage. And if I can keep it with me, hmm, let's see. We have choices. Mm. Right. Okay. Or even two. It's got to be a little gentler with this one. That's all. Ooh. Like what? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, they won't quite. Well, I mean, there you go. It doesn't have to be fancy. <laughs> that could be my winter stuff. All my toques and my gloves could go in there. We are just discovering stuff left, right, and center today. But let's not forget, the rest of this has to be for flannel. Obviously. And the boots stay snug and dry. Ooh, why do you do this to me? There we go. It's a little wank. What can I say? That's one thing I can take a peek at as well while I'm farting around with these drawers is the handles that Francis sent. I mean, at the end of the day, you saw how I just pulled these drawers out. It's not like you need handles because this works just fine, right? This is mostly going to be an aesthetic thing. Put this here, right? Which is cool. Kind of gives it a nice finished look. I finished look, even though the wood's unfinished, but I would have to cut out that little indent for it to sit in there i mean i wouldn't i don't have to i could just put screws in but that would look stupid ah, but my concern is is then you're pulling here and is this already got too much flex to it when you pull you see what i mean i use construction adhesive so we should be fine i could also just add a couple more screws if i really want to <laughs> hmm huh. 
It does look cool. I wonder if pulling from the middle like this would actually make it easier to pull out. Because when I'm pulling from the top, am I like putting weight down? No, it's never mind. <laughs> never mind. She don't look half bad. It's not it's not getting rid of the dimples or anything, but that's okay. It's starting to look a little bit more uniform. Yeah, these the the, the dents that I was told is hail, hail damage, right? But it's weird because it was really only on this side of the van, so are you sure it was hail with, with, with a crosswind like that? Or did somebody park the van downrange at a driving range? You know what I mean? I don't know. Either way, it probably won't show up as often anymore because it's not as a shiny of a surface. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> it's very much still there. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. So I've got, what do I have left? I think I have three left. Yeah, I got three cans left. I don't know. It looks so good. <laughs> Do I need to put another coat on? Because I still have, well, all the touching up to do. Like, yuck. But then I also have this still, right? So, <sighs> I mean, that's gonna need more than three cans. I want to say sounds like a future Matthew problem, but it's a, it's a right now Matthew problem because do I put another coat on or not? <laughs> oh boy. Should probably have eaten something more than yogurt. Okay, I'm definitely going to put one more can on for sure. Once it's completely co coated like that and all the white is covered, it's a lot easier to just go over it and give it kind of a glaze everywhere. Like a donut, but not as delicious. So that's, uh, that's my plan. Yeah, one more, one more can on a tiny home on wheels. Do you need a hand? Do you need a hand? I'm okay. <laughs> I got it all square. Why did I turn the camera off just then? I got it. Coffee mug drops. So when you got me, yeah, okay, you can take it. How was Byron's? What's with all the stuffies? Are these all for Noah when he's here? Or are these donations? It's from the library. I gotta wash them. Oh. Take them back. What? Yes, this was today's project. It was supposed to be one of two things today, and this is it because it takes up your whole day. I thought you were going to be all different colors. No. You painted the windows. There's no windows on this side. No. <laughs> There's never been windows on this side. I guess that's But it's just this that I did today. Yeah, the door was already done, but this was all white oh, still. that's right. Oh, yeah, it's not white anymore. Hello. Hey there. Look at this, see? Eh? Oh. Ooh. It's the color, eh? Yeah, like it is. Green. The green is very nice. Yes. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not since I've been back. Oh, yeah. So it's a new bed platform. Everybody here has already seen it, but mom hasn't. <laughs> and these pull out. Oh, yeah. Well, you showed me how it, well, before it was on the fingers. You know, those things that you pull it out on. The drawer slides? Yeah, those stingers. That one too now as well. This is the second one. Oh, cool. Got lots of space, eh? Yeah, lots of storage. So what all are you going to put in there? Well, I was just talking about this. I'm thinking winter stuff here because there's my boots and then 
toques and careful don't push down on that one too much on that end. Okay. Doesn't have a lot of support when it's out, but that's as far as it goes out. So yeah, winter stuff and then uh, probably flannels here because that's the drawer that doesn't have a lot of support. And then as you can see, the cooking stuff here. And whatnot. It's not very handy to your kitchen. No, but this is going to be more for camping, I think, or if I need something, I just come grab it real quick. But I still got to build a whole bunch of more cabinetry up there because if your boots are stopping that. Eh, it could also be the carpenter. Might not be perfectly level. Should I push it in? Yeah, go for it. Give it a shot. You really got to give it some gusto. There you go. I've been hauling Noah now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, careful. Did you hit your head? Oh, it's Penny's cat laugh. That's a cat laugh. Oh, it's staying. That's it's staying, good. yeah. And there's nothing to see up here other than the, the blank canvas that's really nice. Blank canvas? Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, this is what I also did. So uh, this is on a hinge and struts. Okay. And that's where all of the electrical is going to live. All my batter, all my power components, okay. right? And where's your kitchen? Right here. That's where oh, it's going to go. Was. Was yeah, but I want the fridge to be there so I don't have it in between the seats anymore. So the fridge is going to kind of go. It's going to be a lot smaller. But there is going to be, this is where Penny's litter box is going to be. So I'm going to build an enclosure with a countertop here. Oh, you're not going to have your cool water station that you get? No, I'm still toying with that. That was awesome. I like that. The little thing, yeah, I know. I'm thinking about putting a flip out like here. Oh right on the door but gotcha. that's what it's been it's been a painting and an idea day there you go mm. i'm dealing with the indoor toilet yeah plumbing activities well you know it's it's always unfortunate because uh you know this kind of task on the van doing the painting it always takes way longer than you think it's going to take because you got to cover everything up and all that good stuff, but it looks so nice when it is done. These little bugs would piss off, that'd be great. Anyway, that's pretty much the day, I guess. Tomorrow we'll hit the ground running and hopefully get some of that cabinetry started. Not the little box and everything, but that sounds like a future Matthew problem. For now, I'm going to say thank you all very much for watching as per usual. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And remember, only dead fish go with the flow. <laughs> Yo, bro, there's a stump full of cans there. <laughs>